kayak on the roof, rods in the cab and surfboard, ready for anything right now. Uh, heading down to Toti Beach, it looks insane, low tide at the moment, uh, going down low, even lower, half past six is full low. And yesterday there were some good sounding sights of uh, snook and tuna and that, and the sea looks insane at the moment, it's glassed off, looks perfect. So uh, apparently there's a good little back iron wave, but uh, also the possibility of some good snook as well, so we'll see. I'm going to make a call when I'm down there and see if we can get into a couple of those little Queen Mackies. But out to my left here, there's definitely a couple of birds diving, following some scraps around. It's the time of the year where you get these small scraps that come in and it attracts a lot of game fish with them. The only problem is generally with these small scraps is unless you find something that's their size, you're not going to have too much luck with getting those game fish. So that's why we trawl plastics early morning, small plastics, uh, they're the Stripe Pro snook plastics, early in the morning to try and imitate those, those spreads. for snook fishing but I think when you when you're fishing off a kayak you want something that's a bit of an in-betweener you know so I fish with a um, I fish with a pen 40 for for cooter and and snook um, this has got a bit of lighter line on it it's got like a 20 pound line but this it's beautiful for snook absolutely beautiful for snook and the nice thing is especially with a snook when it gets close to the boat it loves to have a second run so it's got like the second dart when it sees the boat and you need a rod that's got a nice um, forgiving tip and a uh, as well as a as a as a reel that can that can have a really super smooth drag you know it's not i personally think they fight better than the, the snook of the same size of the of the same size so yeah
So we just wanted to run through a couple of um, lures and whatever else that, uh, that we use. So a couple of the, the ones that do not leave my tackle box um, are these the hard plastics, the Strike Pros, um, especially now over this time. From, from your March uh, beginning, mid-April, these lures uh, are brilliant. The pearl and the specific color is, is very, very good. Um, just because it matches what those, those, yeah. those snook are trying. Nice and small, yeah, nice and small, um, nice sort of concise action, and also a uh, big recommendation, change the split rings and that treble hook, because often in amongst those sm snook that we get now, we're getting those big cooter as well, and oaks are losing it. So I've got Kamagatsu number fours on there. Change the hooks, guys, do yourself a favor. These have been working really well. Uh, the Halco twisties. 30 gram, 40 gram. Got to have both in your, in your tackle box. It's you a 20, 20, 20. Focus, focus, focus. Sorry? 20 gram and 40 gram. And then there, but there's a 30 gram. There is a 30 gram. Yeah, I think they actually go up to 60. So yeah. just get, get all the sizes in, yeah. in your tackle box because they're loving those. Especially moving now into uh, a little bit further on in the season. You want it to go with your bigger spoons, maybe a bigger spoon, your Holco 120s, slightly bigger lure, but because there's going to be a lot more bonnies around now that those big kudu and those wahoo and snook are going to be feeding on, you want to go maybe a slightly bigger lure, these 120s are ideal for the kayaks. 140s coming out soon. 140s launching, launching soon. Jeepers, I'm excited some, about yeah, that. Um, reels that we're using at the moment, these pens, the Clash and uh, the Fathom.